second. Okay, 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 come on, come on. I just want to see this kid's sound, but it should be good anyway. Hey, all praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh by Shem, Brachat Shout out to the elect out there, double mm -hmm. on the side apostles and elders of Great Millstone. You know, and uh, we just coming back with another video, as we should, you know, you know, and uh, push this word, man. One way, shape, or another, man, all right? Because there's a war going on outside, man, all right? Every day, all day, you know, and basically... The war is spiritual, man. You know, real quick, brother, if you can get uh, Ephesians the sixth chapter, Baba Kusha. You know, I think it's the tenth verse. You know, because it's it's, it's it's a real live war going on on outside. You know, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Uh, six, and, I think that's twelve. Right. Uh, Ephesians six and twelve. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. The rulers of darkness of this world, man. All right? There are rulers of darkness of this world. Okay? The rulers of darkness of this world, you so-called white people, you Edomites. Okay? Because the Bible, it talks about a God, all right, of this world. All right? Real quick, let me get that. All right? The God of this world is setting up plots and snares tricks and traps man okay to where you know anybody can get caught into it man all right so therefore it's a stronghold man because a stronghold was something what back in the ancient world a stronghold was somewhere where you would set up a fortress all right you would set up a fortress in which you felt as though you would be safe a place of security a refuge okay and that's what this world has in their minds they have a false sense of insecurity based upon what the God of this world has taught them, okay? Everybody worships somebody or something, okay? Everybody falls in line and leads, is being judged and follows a certain standard from something, whether they believe it or not. Because contrary to popular belief, this world tells you that you live based upon your own feelings, basically do as thou wilt. You do basically what your, uh, your, your slave master tells you to do, man. Just like the whole thing with Kanye West, you know, it's kind of still of a topic, you know. It's kind of still uh, lingering out there, you know. But Kanye West said what? Is, um, uh, slavery was a choice? You know, slavery is slavery, man. <laughs> you know, sla slavery, we in slavery now, man. You know, we in slavery now. Why? Because there's strongholds on our, on our minds, man. On all of us, man. The only way, the only way we can break these strongholds is what? By the name of the Lord, okay, and by keeping these scriptures first, man. Keeping the doctrine of Yahweh by Shem Yahshad first, okay? God. I got a quick Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, you know, I just turned to it. Uh, Proverbs 21 and 22. A wise man scales the city of the mighty and cast, casteth down the strength of the confidence thereof. Woo! Yeah, God, bring that on again. Oh, I like that scripture, man. <laughs> Proverbs 21 and 22. A wise man scales the city. What does it mean to scale the city? He's being circumspect. Circumspect. He's analyzing. He's taking down notes. He's being vigilant. Okay? You know? Go ahead. It says, um, and cast him down. The strength of the confidence thereof. Yeah, cast down the strength of the confidence thereof. The confidence is in what? These strongholds, man. All right? Based upon Satan, man. Yeah. At the end of the day, the adversary, the, 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 the spiritual wickedness in high places. All right? Let me get this scripture real quick. This, uh, you done on that? Is it more? Yeah, yeah, it was done. That okay. Was done. The, and that's the spirit, man. You know? Why? Because that's why we were born in the conditions that we were born in. So when we speak to people, we relate in an aspect of what? Something that we also have been through, man. All right? That's why it takes you going through certain situations for you to understand in order to break those strongholds, man. Okay? That's why you go into the scriptures, it talks about uh, the, the only way you can take the uh, the uh, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, the moat out of another man's eye, you take the, uh, basically, 
the beam out of yours. All right. So you got to know essentially what that scripture is saying is that you got to know how to fight your battles or break your own strongholds to help break someone else's strongholds. Okay, and that's what that scripture said in Proverbs. It said, "What? Can you read that one more time?" Somehow, you know, yeah. it said, "It said the wisdom of a, the wisdom of a man what the says, scales Pro scales the land." Proverbs twenty one and twenty two. A wise man scales the city of the mighty. The city. What's the city? The city is the stronghold. What's the mighty? The mighty is that fucking demon, man. You know, breaking it down, going all into it, analyzing it, man, and then knowing how to. Why is he a wise man? Because he's analyzing it what? He's going to conquer up a scheme, if you will, to break it down. And the scheme is done through the scriptures. All right? Go ahead. It says, and cast down the strength of the confidence thereof. The, high, the only way you can cast down the strength of this world is through Yahweh B'Hashim Yahweh Shai and the word of Yahweh B'Hashim Yahweh Shai, man, at the end of the day. And that's why we got to keep those things first. All right? Because you got to deal with your own sin. What does, the scripture, what does the scripture say? It says, he that has no control over his spirit is like a city without walls. All right? So it's about controlling your spirit. All right? Purging the leaven in your spirit. All right? Purging the leaven in your city and your body. Because that's what would happen in the ancient world. That's why you put people to death in the ancient world. That's why there were certain laws and standards in the ancient world. Because you had rulers that ruled certain cities. And it's the rulership of the city would get out of hand. First of all, that city wouldn't flourish spiritually, and it, was, it for sure wouldn't flourish financially. Therefore, you have people hungry, you have people in debt. You gonna have a terrible fucking city, and then what's gonna happen? The city gonna turn against you. Yeah. So it was important to purge out the leaven of that city. Uh, and if I can say this, because um, like in the game of uh, chess, uh, you have a. Uh, you know, a queen, which is one of the strongest pieces on the board. Uh, if you just allow that that queen to just move around and just do whatever the heck it want to, it's going to allow that that king to uh, be at uh, uh, at a weaker defense. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so you got to know like the the right way to, to to move that that piece. You know, in this uh the, this uh this game of life, and and y'all about some y'all saw. You know, he's playing chess while everybody else is playing checkers, man. You know? Um, I got a quick scripture because you had said something about the name of the Lord. Uh, Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Yeah, because always in war, you had what? You had a rendezvous, man. Okay? You had a get back point. <laughs> you, had, you had your own stronghold, man. So you would go. Just, hey man, you got it. Hey, look, man, you spy out the land. It's like Joshua and the two spies, man. All right, uh -huh. the, those Reubenites, those Gadites, the, that half tribe of Manasseh, you go spy out the land, see how to attack the land, man. Okay, so you have to go put the scope on the land, man. That's why the scripture says what mark which, mark those which cause division. Okay, you got to you got to mark territory. You got to see weaknesses, man. All right, now. Going back, cause shit kind of get hot, get hectic. You trying to infiltrate a place, where you may have to know how to have to get out of dodge. And guess what? You have to go back to your stronghold, man. Yeah. You know. So keep keep the stronghold, the stronghold, man. Know your get back point. <laughs> know your safe haven. <laughs> shit get ugly. You know, arrows coming your way, like the scriptures talk about the different darts. You know. Remember the scripture said that uh, Satan. Yeah, I think that's, that's, uh, that's Ephesians. Yeah, the sixth that's chapter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you have to have faith. What do you have faith in the name of the Lord? Just keep going on uh, Ephesians. Uh, Ephesians six and uh, I'm gonna start at twelve again. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Right. Keep going. Wherefore take. Uh, unto you the whole armor of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. And we, we're, we're, we're in the evil day, all right? This world is filthy, man. You know? We're in the evil day, the, the, the day of doom, the day of bad times, all right? All kind of things is happening, man. 
Prophecies is coming to pass. Strongholds are getting broken. Hey, man, that's one thing, you know, basically, hey, GMS is known for that, man. That was always the apostles and the elders. Excuse me. That was always the apostles and the elders. That was the name of they, uh, they, they cite, man. Uh, breaking, uh, breaking strongholds. Because that's what we known for, man. G Great Millstone is known for breaking strongholds, man. All right? Flat out, man. All right? Why? Because we come with that that full force, man, in the name of the Lord. Okay? Now, the, the thing is, is that brothers are going to are, are are gonna have to learn, all right? Brothers are going to have to learn how to break your own strongholds, man. Okay? And the only way you're going to break your own strongholds is by what? Keeping the scriptures first, man. All right? No, no. The scripture says what? To be steadfast, rooted in the word of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, you can't, you can't lose a battle that way. That's the point, man. Matter of fact, let me see. I just looked at the title. It popped up on my feed. You know, the brother Kazak from Mississippi, he did a video. Let me look. I want to see the name of it because it kind of inspired this video as well. All right? I believe it was him. Okay? You got, you got something with really um. it. Yeah, I'm going to get this, uh, e Ezekiel, uh, the thir 13th, uh, chap chapter, or 18th, uh, chapter. Oh, my what? bad, Salakia. That's, G that's GMS Fear the Most High, all right? That was that brother from England. Uh, it says, we have 100% assured victory through Yahweh Shah. And that's what it is, man. That's what it boils down to, man. We have 100% sure victory in Yahweh, in Yahweh Shah. As long as you keep your house shy, the word of the Lord first, you have 100% victory, man. You cannot lose. Okay? You got it out. Um, this is uh, Ezekiel 18 and uh, 29. Yet said the house of Israel, the way of the Lord is not equal. Right? Because um, with that scripture that we, we brought out uh, about uh, the wise man, he steals the city. You know what I'm saying? Talking about a scale at, the, at at this point. You know, because the Lord is a, about violence. You know? Is that, what, what was what you read? Uh, Ezekiel uh, 18 and uh, 29. Okay. It says, um, O house of Israel, are not my ways equal? Are not your ways unequal? Yeah, yeah. And that's, <laughs> and that's people's false sense of security, man. That's, their, that's people's false sense of confidence. All right? Because everything that they do... It's unequal, man. There's no balance. Now, I want to get 18 and what was that? 29. 29. Yeah, because one of the one of the things that, like, for example, people um condemn the uh the just and justify the wicked. Yeah. 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 Like like for instance, we seen, you know, I showed brother the picture of that uh it was called the uh the Met Gala. You know, it was basically a fundraiser for the Met the Metropolitan Museum, and it's heavy, man. Yeah, yeah, the Metropolitan, the Metropolitan Museum over there. It was a fundraiser for that, uh, 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 for that museum, and the apostles always go there, man. You know, I was there when I was like real young. I've been there like when I was real young. I haven't been there, you know, like that. But that's their Central Park, man. You know, and uh, long story short, you know, you had celebrities, so-called celebrities, you know, women that are, are prominent in this society. You know, nigga bitches from the Northern Kingdom. They had the confusion of faces up there. Right. They had the Northern Tribe uh, uh, demon up there, Cardi B. You know, uh, uh, Nicki Minaj. She's supposed to be a so-called West Indian. She's Trinidadian. And then they had the confusion. Uh, Caesar, Sousa, whatever the fuck her name is. You know, Caesar, whatever. I don't know. It's S -Z -S 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 -Z -A. Yeah, it's just, it's whatever. Yeah. You know, and she's a confusion of face. Because yeah. people are looking at her like a so-called white woman. But she's a nigga woman. Right? Yeah. You know, he might sing like that. You know? Yeah. And then, so they had everything. And then what they got down, oh, I think Beyonce, man, I don't know, man. And they was all dressed up in that Roman Catholicism apparel with all those uh, symbols on them, which is basically uh, 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 the honoring taboos and ceramicists, man. The queen of heaven. And that's what this whole world is, the vibration is based upon, man. The queen of heaven, man. Exalted woman. All right? Homosexuality, man. At the end of the day. Okay? And you got people, they glorifying that shit. But here it is. They, you, you, you got, that was a bunch of filth. What the fuck happened at the end of that fucking night, man? It was 
all kind of uh, it was all kind of sacrifices and blood rituals come all over the place, blood all over the fucking place. Yeah. That's the type of world we fucking live in, man. And it's being done behind closed doors. But Esau wants to bring that shit to the forefront. Why you think uh, 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 Iran talking about death to America, man? Yeah. All right. Why? Because in that area, man, this place, is, yo, man, this place is doomed, man. This place is doomed, man. This place is doomed, man. Yo, look, man, all this, the most side is not fucking playing, man. At the same time, man, because you just got to keep in mind, I always like to keep in mind, all these philosophies started where the main war is about to start. Yeah. You keep that fucking in mind, man. You keep that in mind, man. All this stuff, because Iran, Iraq, all that, you know, the, uh, 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 um, uh, what is it, the Gulf of Suez, all right, uh, Jehoshaphat, that's where the war is about to start, and that's where all this fuckery started from, man. The most high is about to do a, a number on this fucking earth, man. Remember the scripture said the earth is going to reel to and fro like a drunkard, man. That's about to happen, man. Look, the trees is going to be on fire. The water is going to be on fire. Niggas talking about volcanoes and shit, man. Volcanoes can't, can't, volcanoes can't destroy the Vatican. And I say this too, man. If you don't believe America is Babylon and great, that means you're a part of Babylon, man. You're, part, you're within the fucking wrong stronghold, my man. It's no possible way that America ain't Babylon the Greek. The only way you call it, the only way you call it not Babylon the Greek, because you're in the mix of Babylon. Yeah. You're in the mix of the confusion. You confused, nigga. Lost little puppies, man. You know, you, you got some. I'll bring, I'll bring it up, Bob. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, talking about uh, are your your ways not equal? I mean, unequal. Oh, that's the one. Yeah. What's, what, what, not not what verse was that? Uh, Ezekiel eighteen and twenty nine. Okay. Um, yeah, because uh, the, the point where, uh, where we was talking about um, people justifying the wicked, your, um, one way how, how people are unequal is, um, you know, they'll, they'll defend their great-grandmother or their grandmother that they love so dearly, you know, if they do some straight-up wicked shit, you know? Yeah. So yeah. at the moment that <laughs> somebody else do it to them, you know, I don't care if it's your mother, your grandmother, your daughter, you know, some children. Yeah. They want to fuck them up. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're unjust in their weights. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, hey, the, the, the uh, Hebrew word there is uh, tha, a ka, and a na, the cunt. Wow, man. Hey, man, that's why Hebrew is important, man. Because I'll just say this. All right, and I brought it out before. Brothers can check it out. And I broke it down on how basically what that cross is. It's basically, the, the, that's a, basically a T for Tammuz, which the T for Tammuz really, in the Hebrew, uh, 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 Tammuz is Tamawaz, all right? Tamawaz, if I'm not if I'm saying it correctly, but they use that Tha, that Tha, when you go into the Hebrew, what does it look like? It looks like an X, it looks like a T, it looks like a cross, all right? So people in the ancient world, they were using that symbol for the sign of Tammuz. Now this word here is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you break it down, <laughs> if you break it down, the dot means thou, meaning you, and kind meaning surely. So it's really, and so it's basically saying all about yourself because it's unequal. All right? Look, look. So and let me just say this too. And it also says, it says to estimate, to regulate, to measure, to ponder, to balance. Right? Make even, level, weight, be equal, be weighed out, test, prove. Now, the thing I want to bring out too, the main word is the word ponder. People don't ponder on shit nowadays. People don't have patience. Why? Because it's all about them fucking selves. That's why the scripture says, in the last days, scorp many scoffers shall arise, seeking after their own heart's lust. The kind. They're unequal. They're all about them fucking selves. Now, the only way that you can be equal or balanced is having the mind of your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. That's the only way. Other than that, it's all off balance. Yeah. You don't have the mind of the Lord. You're knocked off, of course. You're, you're, you're not sober, man. Your equilibrium is off, man. Hey. If you're not holding the scriptures first. All right? Come hey, on, brother. Making some, you're making some beautiful points. Huh? It's the because spirit. I was talking about, uh, I was about to say, um, going into the word sober, um, that people be drunk. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and when you're drunk, you un, you're not walking uh, nah, right. Nah, you your balance is off. That's why your equilibrium, your equilibrium, 
the equilibrium is off, man. That's why it's equilibrium. I, mean, I gotta look that word up. People, um, people, it take people to when they get drunk to get more confident. Yeah. In this world. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, 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 well. Well, let me say this. All right. But liquor is therapeutic if it's done in moderation. It, it can help. Yeah. With ailments, if you deal with wine, but it also I forget there's a specific word that it does, but it, it also lifts your spirit. It does. That's what it was made yeah, for yeah, to yeah, lift yeah. your spirit. All right, all right. But it has to be done in moderation. Right. What is moderation? In balance. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if it's done in balance, right. that's what the scriptures say. Right. If I could bring yeah, this yeah, up, because yeah, you yeah. made a point about the Hebrew, right? Yep. Uh, Zephaniah three verse nine. For then will I turn to the people of pure language, mm. because you said the, yeah. Hebrew, the Hebrew is the pure language. It's equal. Uh, a strong quote that people here have here in America is this uh, English. Yes. Yeah, they, they, yes. They feel secure in this language. Yeah. You tell them, hey, what did that word mean? <laughs> hey, what did that word mean? You know what that means? They don't know a fucking lick. <laughs> yup, I got the word equilibrium. It's all uh, from Latin. An even balance. A horizontal position. Meaning standing upright. You stand straight up. It says equal, level, horizontal, evenly balanced. Equal, balanced, pair of scales. That's crazy. A pair of scales? A pair of scales. That's what the Levites used to carry. Now, what does Exodus 19 and 5 say? It says that we are a nation of kings and priests. Everybody want to be the fucking king, but what about when it's time for you to be the priest? The priest has to keep the balances. That's why you see the symbol of Levi is what? The balance is the scale. Why? Because Levi played the part of the priest. Now you have to carry that, that, that balance, that scale. All right? God. God. Oh, man. It's something I want. Oh, yeah. What was that other scripture you read? What was that? Uh, uh, Proverbs yeah, 21. Yeah, Proverbs 22. 22. And uh, I think it was uh, 18. Proverbs 22 and 18. Nah. Was, that wasn't Proverbs 22 and 18? No. Uh, 21 and 22. It's a lot. Yeah. Oh, call it's a lot. Yeah, this, I want to get that word scaling in there. All right? Uh, I, I lie. I lie. To, to go up, ascend, climb. Okay? It says to go up, ascend, meet, visit, follow, depart, withdraw, retreat. To go up, spring up, grow. To grow, yep, yep. To go up, go over, be taken, be uh, brought up, be taken away, take oneself away, to bring up. You got to be balanced to do all that, man. Yeah. Salakia. Yeah, um, I had made a, a, a video hmm. about how, um, you know, when it comes down to this belief, you know, our, what, we, you know what people call our beliefs, you know, we don't just say things because we believe it. We say we supposed to be saying this because we know it. Yeah, that's why the scripture says. Yeah, that's a heavy point because the scripture says, "Uh, faith is the evidence. The evidence. Let's focus on that point first. Faith is the evidence of things not seen. Because <laughs> really, faith really means to know. Yeah, that's when you have faith in something. Faith is not blind. Okay, faith is an actual form of light. It's an actual form." Of, of, of scales and balances, man. It's an actual form of way of looking at things. God. Through faith. Through the spirit. The, the evidence of things hoped for and the substance of things not seen. Sub, substance is tangible. Substance you can feel. Alright? Which the substance, when you go into the word, sub means to understand, means to stand. So basically it's the understanding. Alright? Yeah, the brother brought out the scripture. You know, and um, we uh, that's that's a part of the title. Let the scriptures talk, right? Uh, Romans three and three. Um, no, I'm gonna start at uh, two. It says, "Much every way, chiefly." Now you gotta start up higher. Start, start. Start at one. Yeah. What advantage then have the Jew, or what profit is there of circumcision? Much every way, 
chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of Yahweh by Shimon Shah. Yeah, the oracles are the mouthpiece, man. All right? Now, when you deal with that on for what it is, it's talking about the Jews, you know, the circumcision. You know, dealing with Paul, the apostles, you know, the twelve, the heads. Then the Gentiles, which were, they weren't considered the circumcision. So there was a chief seat amongst the Jews during the time of the circumcision. I mean, during that time, because of the because they knew that they were Israel and they, they walked with Yahweh Shai. Now, on a larger level, that's talking about uh, Israel as a whole, man. Because we're all circumcised now, man. Okay? Because we circumcise the foreskins of our heart, of our mind. Alright? And that's what gives us the, the, the one up. Alright? It says, um, For what if some did not believe? So their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh Shim Yahweh without effect? Y'all by forbid. Yeah, that's right. Because at the end of the day, we're winning the war. Only we can see that we're winning the war. Only we can see that we're bringing down the stronghold, man. But you're going to have non-believers. You're going to have people. You got to have that op that opposition to show <laughs> why the stronghold getting broken. And you got vessels for that. You got the Y'all by Shem has created specific vessels. Oh, that's Romans the ninth chapter. You know, he has chosen one vessel unto honor. He has chosen another vessel unto dishonor, man. Okay? Let me bring that out real quick. I'm right here. This is uh, Romans chapter 9, right? I'm going to start at verse, okay? Let me start at verse 18. Therefore have he mercy on, on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will harden. Thou will say then unto me, why do he yet find fault? For who have resisted his will? Nay, but, O oh man, who art thou that replies against the Most High? Shall it... Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Huh? People, people, uh, one of the strong calls is people thinking that they have free will. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Because they're all about themselves. All right? And that's the doctrine of this world. That's the biggest stronghold. Okay? And that's what people learn from women. That's why that, that 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 ritual that happened two days ago at the Met Gap was so it was so prominent. Everybody taking pictures. Here it is, you got these these women, all right, these dirty sluts dressed up like Roman Catholic priests, and it's being exalted. Why? Because it goes back to a vibration, man. It goes back to ancient deities, man. And that's what women teach. Oh, it's all about me. That's why a woman be all up in the mirror for 20 minutes, man. God. Fixing eyeliner and mascara, man. But then you have men. Who carry and uh, carry that vibration as well, man. All right, and it trickles, and then you can't, man. <laughs> I call it straight. Some men it trickles into the truth, man. You hey, look, man. Hey, let's say this, man. Uh, uh, scripture says when you go into uh, what uh, Solomon said. All right, I'll get it real quick. What Solomon said, he said, "He that overcometh the woman." Uh, 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 escape the woman shall please the most high man that's what this thing is all about man all right trying to please y'all by shim y'all shot man okay over all over all your pleasures over all your lusts which essentially boil down to what women man at the end of the day what men want to do you want to get with women man at the end of the day yeah. all right Say, uh, of the woman became sin. Again, in the sin. Oh uh, my God! Well, we all die. Quick, quick uh -huh. scripture. Jeremiah four and twenty one. <laughs> it says, "How long shall I see the standard?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And when you look at a standard, a standard is a rallying point. Yeah. Okay. You see that? Okay. Let's say you try to do everything on your own, which a lot of you people are gonna have to find out on your, on your heart, on your own, <laughs> that you can't do it all on your exactly, own. Man. You know. So, so it's like, okay, you got caught up in, uh, this, like, let's say you in this world, and you, you a man that, that, uh, was dead Yo, bro. Yo, bro. No, man. The Lord be showing things, man. Yo, man, the Lord be showing things, man. The Lord be showing things, man. That's what you need. Hey, man, I'm gonna call it straight, man. That, a lot of times, hey, hey, when you see Jake, he be all, all to fucking self. Nah, man, he all to fucking self. He all up in that woman's ass. Hey, man, that's just what it is, man. Yeah. That's what it is, man. You know? Oh, man. Hey. Well, no, no, I think he had more, though. No, it's, it's more, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut, cut, cut. Yeah, yeah. Cut, yeah, yeah, cut. Hey, hey. Uh, What's that, 421 the, we just read? Yeah, 421. It's more than that. I'm going to get it if I... Cut. 
Go back, go back to it. Yep, yep. Yeah. Now, uh, another one of the, the, the strong uh, holds, right? Right now, you have this wicked ass holiday that's coming up. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Right after single the mile. That's spiritual, yep. Yep. Now, I'm going to get this Christian. Oh, and, go so like, and right, you think about it. Esau don't play no fucking games, man. Esau out there doing rituals. He really make, He really believes in his fucking power. Look, you got Mother's Day just passed. I mean, oh, yeah. Mother's Day coming up. Yeah. Single the mile just passed. Right before that was uh, May Day, uh, uh, May 1st. You know, that's the anniversary of the Illuminati. Shortly prior to that, about a month prior to that, you had what? You had Easter. So, in this long line, this weekends after another Esau, these are high these are satanic holy days that are hitting back to, oh and they had their so called Passover which their Passover is really a, 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 a worship of a, a, a fertility goddess man it's really Easter all over again because that's why they put in the 1700s when you look up the word or I, I forget what chapter of Acts that is but it says it says Easter instead of the Passover that's right because the devil did that man the Bible destruction group back in the 1700s, man. All right? That actually happened, man. And that Esau is moving. The, the, things is happening, man. And we can see it. But at the same time, strongholds are being broken, man. Yeah. All right? Go ahead, Al. Um, This is Job 14 and 1. Man that is born of a woman is of few days. Right. And full of trouble. Right. <laughs> That's right. He coming forth. Like a flower and, and it's cut down. He flees. He coming off like a flower and it's cut down. He turns into a fucking fairy, man. <laughs> At the end of the day, that's what the scriptures just said, man. That's what the scriptures just said. He, he cometh off like a flower. What, what man come off as a flower? Men are supposed to be rough and tough, yeah. you know? So to speak. You, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. What man wants to be likened unto a flower, man? They, they prickly and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Twirly and shit. <laughs> Fucking ballerinas, man. You yeah. know? Go ahead, huh? It says... And then he's cut down, man. Yeah. Go he, ahead. He flees also as a shadow and continues not. And that that's why uh, in the book of uh, Isaiah, the third chapter, towards the end, where it talks about uh, these... These the mighty men we just we just read it in Proverbs twenty one the, the scale of the uh, city of the mighty right the mighty men of this this place is going to be put to death are they faggots yeah uh, uh Russell Westbrook LeBron James uh, 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 whoever whoever's out there the, the Matt, no I'm sorry brother look look man see this is what I'm talking about man because in that same ritual with that shit was a ritual that's what I'm calling it the Met Gala man that shit was a ritual man. That shit was a cere that was a ceremony ceremony unto the to, to, to Tammuz, Ceramus and Tammuz, man. That's what that shit was, man. Alright? And at the same time you had those nigga bitches there. Alright? But you had we had T'Challa was up in there, man. Well, I can't think of the nigga. What's his name, huh? Uh Chad Boswick. Yeah, Chad Boswick. Right? Yeah, him. And then who you just had the, the, the childish Gambino. Gambino. Yeah, I hate yo, man. This nigga with a grown ass man named Childish. Come on, man. And then he makes this video. People getting shot. And he comes up. And all of a sudden, shortly after this video, he, he comes out and, and with a, uh, 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 um, the, uh, uh, the, come on, the all C and I. You know? Come on, man. They, they show you right in front of your face, man. Yeah. And, it, and it, it seems like the stronghold is getting stronger. If it wasn't, that's why I made that video, man, yesterday. If it's not for the men of the Lord, you wouldn't be no hope. Be no hope. There wouldn't be no hope, man. Everybody be going to wickedness, man. That's why the scripture says what? If it set the day be shown for the elect saint, saint, there shall no flesh be saved, man. That's just like Noah and, and, and the seven other souls, man. They were reserved, man, because the whole place was turned to hoarder, man, at the end of the day, man. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah, man. All right? Did you have, you had you had uh, 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 Lot and his wife? And those souls that were specifically delivered out of that place. All right? Which, it ain't no different. America's the same thing, man. This is the pit of hell, man. If you can't see that, if you, again, I'm going to say it again. You can't see America as Babylon the Great, and you are part of Babylon, my friend. Flat out, man. Okay? You got something out? No, no. Okay. Uh, it was more on that. Uh, I had that. Um, 421. Yep, yep, yep. 
But you got, you got something? No, no, I'm holding it. But just, I want you to keep reading that. Come on, come on. Uh, Jeremiah 4 and uh, 21. Right? It says, how long shall I see the standard? Right? Because you, you said if it wasn't for the men of the Lord, right? The men of the Lord are, uh, have rallied together. Okay? And they, they, they're they they're showing you that this is the way, man. Yeah. Okay? This is the this is the only way to uh, abide out of here. Because if you if not, you're just gonna get caught up in, in everything that comes your way. You know? Like what do what do you what do you um if if, if you're not sober minded, you drunk off of some, some bullshit that Esau, you know, the, the the Babylonian juice, man. Yeah. You know? So so we we, we come together, okay, and, and um what is that? Uh, the 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 city has been breached, right. okay. Right. But but brother, you know, we came back together and we rallied together. Yeah. And when you when you when you're together, it's more of a uh uh uh. You know what you're describing is the house of David. God. Because that's what happened with the house of David. Because the house of David, essentially David, remember he was on the run. Yeah. And he had his crew. He had his team with him. Yeah. You know. And then the, remember they was in discontent. They were they were hiding in the cave. Yeah, and then when he, they they huddled back together, they reformated, and then they built up the house of David. God, that's his, that's what that's what happened. That's yeah. what the house, essentially what the house of David is. All right, which the house of David spiritually is that it basically is the body of Yahweh Shai. That's just, that's what the house of David is. Is the body of Yahweh Shai, man, the temple of the Lord. All right, which was built. <laughs> this, this is too much, man. This is too much. I got it, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Jeremiah 4 and 21. Yeah, uh, Jeremiah 4 and 21. How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? Because we've been, we've been blowing Blow the, the trumpet. trumpet. That's right. For the longest telling you, hey, right now, the prophecies are, are, are moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, North Korea talking about peace and safety. Okay? Trump. Talking about he backing up out of the the, uh, the the nuclear missile from uh, Iran, you know, the RFID chip, man. See, America is just you know, just one one false flag attack away from martial law being declared, and them trying to put that on on um some other country, you know, so that they can be justified in trying to go into the Middle East, you know. Man, we're in a time of breaking strongholds, man. It says, for my people is foolish, they have not known me. Right, that, see, see, and, and that's what Jeremiah is asking. How many times are we going to do this? How many times are we going to go out on the street and sound all on, you know? And that, you know? Matter of fact, can you start up, can you start up higher, matter of fact? Because I want to see if that's Jeremiah. I don't remember. Is that Jeremiah saying that or is the people saying that? Um, in 21. Jeremiah 21? Well, yeah. You we want start, me to start up a little bit? Yeah, start up a little higher. Um, Jeremiah 21 and 15. 15. For a voice declares from Dan and pub, publisheth affliction from Mount Ephraim. Right. Make ye mentions to the nation. P behold, publish against Jerusalem that watchers come from Far, a far country and give out their voice against the cities of Judah. Right, that's right, that's right. That's talking about martial law, man. All right, because essentially during the time of uh, uh, Jeremiah, right, where well, he was warning them that what? That Bab uh, the Babylonians was going to come besiege Jerusalem and come besiege Judah. All right, because remember, all the other tribes were being, they already were taking that. So you had Judah left. But, the, but Jeremiah was left to warn them. Keep going. It says, um, as keepers of a field, are they uh, against her round about? Because she has been rebellious against me, saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. The way and thy doings have procured these things unto you. This is your wickedness, because it is bitter. Hold up, brother. We got to get that word. Verse 18, right? That was yep, 18. verse 18. Jeremiah 4. Yeah, because... um. You know, all of this stuff, uh, all these nations have came up against our people and made us to to be in the predicament that we're in right now because we sinned against Yahweh Hashem Yahweh We sinned against our power, you know? 
Um, and so a lot of it was all willingly. Yeah. Some 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 people wanted to go to these other nations because they seen that they was uh doing uh well. You know, um you have you, you got a lot of these fucking wicked ass pastors right now, uh robbing our people, man. Oh, that well you just said it. That, that's why when you go into the scripture, is uh, uh Jeremiah four eighteen says thy way and thy doings have procured these things. Meaning what? The word procure when you looked it up is uh I gotta get it again. I just looked at it. You gotta look at it again. But it said to uh, to accomplish, to uh to make. Basically, you put this shit on yourself. Yeah. Essentially, it says thy ways and thy doings have proc procured these things unto thee. Well, that's why kind of where <laughs> well he ain't right, but it wasn't a choice. Yeah. For slavery, however, because of the law statute commandments being broken, it was kind of like a choice because the 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 uh uh. uh because the, the deal was, in Deuteronomy 28 and 15, if you were to keep these laws that are the commandments, yeah. you, you basically brought it upon yourself because you knew this would happen. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Even though the, the Lord put the Spirit on them to do that, man. I mean, you got to put that out there, man. God, man. It, wasn't, it wasn't a choice. Yeah. You know? But the Lord put them on the Spirit. <laughs> but from, the, from a carnal man, that's how he would, that's how he would see it. Yeah. You know? Hey, but there's scriptures in the Bible that, that, uh, that the Lord... Because uh, these people aren't responsible, you know. When they, when they, uh, if you, if you have that that mindset where you can reply against y'all by shooting your shot, you just got a straight up demon on you. Yeah, you know. But but the Lord got scriptures in there in the Bible where it say, well, where, where did I sin against you? You know, what I'm saying, where did I do you wrong at? Right, right. I, you know, you you got a problem with my word. What did I do wrong to you? Right. What did the Bible ever do wrong to you? Yeah, yeah, and that see that's the and that's the trick bag. That's the trick bag. <laughs> that's, why, that's why scripture says, "Let their table become a snare, Duh. and that which have been for their welfare, gen, gen in a trap." Yo, yeah, man, that's heavy. That's heavy because that's what if you watch the video we, we was talking about it. You know, the, uh, the the Muslim dude came up. Well, you know, Jake's biggest beef is what that Bible and destroy our mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So they look at it like the Bible is going off, but we're using the same thing to break you down. You know, God, God. Well, yeah, yeah, you got it. Now. Um, it says um. Yeah, procured. Procured. It says, do it. it Verse it says, uh, what, this Which is means what, to make or to fashion. This is what you brought upon yourself. Right. It says, this is your wickedness. Yeah, that's what it says, right? <laughs> your wickedness. That's why the Babylonians going Babylonians to roll on you, man. Yeah. Right? And the modern day Babylonians is these American soldiers, these cops, on, on down to what? You know, these are uh, uh, foreign, foreign entities, you know, militias and different countries and coalitions from other countries is going to invade America, man. You know? America is going to get ransacked, man. All right? A lot of, the, a lot of you uh, people that get caught up in that thermonuclear destruction, man, okay? And you you uh, probably was an atheist or were doing some straight-up wicked shit, man. You know? When that, when, and a lot of these atheists, they're going to cry out to Yahweh or, or the Lord, you know, Jesus, which we said that was a, a strong quote. Y'all gonna be going to the wrong tower, Ooh. you know? Huh. Like, 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 like these people. Um, they got fallout shelters. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a false sense of security. Uh, you, man, ain't no fallout shelter gonna be able to, to to protect you from this destruction that's about to come, man. Right. You know? Yep. It yeah. says. Yep. Uh, because it is bitter. Because it reaches onto your heart. No, no, it's a dying yeah. onto <laughs> thine heart. Yeah, yeah, to your, your, your heart. heart. Yep, yep, yep. It says, "My bowels, my bowels. I am pain at my very heart. My heart makes a noise in me. I cannot hold my peace because thou hast heard, O my soul, the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of war." Right. See, to Jeremiah said he couldn't hold his peace, man. All right, keep going. Destruction upon destruction is cried. For the whole land is spoiled, suddenly all my tents spoiled, and my curtains in a moment. Right. How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? For my people is foolish, they have not known me, they are sardish children, and they have not understanding, they are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. That's right, because they're imbalanced, man. All right, they don't want to seek the, they don't want to seek Yahweh Shimei Shah. All right, he says, "How long shall I see the standard?" Meaning what? 
how long they breach the standard, man. It doesn't hear the sound of the trumpet, you know, like uh, you know, because right after Jeremiah you had Lamentations, Lamentations shows the, the, the outcry and the actual defeat of uh, of, uh, of of Jerusalem Judah, man. Yeah. All right? And and, and inside of uh this this stronghold, you know, we pray that we we the of the elect, you know, but inside of this stronghold, when you come into it, you gotta be in order. You know what I'm saying? What this uh, one a low leaven leaven is the whole lump. You know? When when you come into this this thing, right, in, in the in the Lord's stronghold, you see that there's there's food, you know what I'm saying? Uh shelter, clothes, you know? And and, and, and what what the scriptures say? Riches are not calmly for a niggard. So a person coming to this truth, if you're a nigger and you, you try to come into this truth and you try to get a uh, shelter from the Lord and you see, oh, dang, I got all this, you know, all this, this uh, spiritual stuff. And you're just taking it for your, your own gain instead of cleansing your, your own ways. You're going to get kicked out because you're not, you're not profitable unto your all by seeing y'all shop. Oh, you know? Yeah, 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 because, um, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, yeah, yeah. You gotta, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Or the Lord could reach you out. Yeah. You ain't gonna, you know, it doesn't always have to be a kick out. The Lord can just pull you out, you know? Yeah. It's, it's about, hey, man, leaven, you know? The Lord gonna press out leaven, man, you know? You gotta press your own leaven first, all right? You got, uh, you got anything else? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm gonna get second. this. Okay, come, come, come. Romans 3, Romans 3 and uh, 4. It says, I'm gonna start at 3 again. For what if some did not believe, shall so their unbelief make the faith of y'all but shim y'all shall without effect? Because the Lord's still going to go on with his program. You know? He had a program from the very beginning. The elect was already uh, sealed from the very beginning of, of uh, uh, with this, you know, who, who the Lord slated for uh, salvation. You know, that it's called pre predestinated. Okay. So, so all we have to do is just preach the word, okay? It says, uh, God, Yahweh Shem Yahshah forbid, yet yeah, let Yahweh Shem Yahshah be true, but every man a liar. Is it is written that thou mightest be justified in your sayings and might, mightest overcome when thou art judged, okay? And this kind of goes into the let the scriptures talk, okay? Because... If you believe in this 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 Bible, okay, we just want to let what what the Lord wrote, okay, Romans fifteen and four, okay, the things that was written aforetime was written for our learning, okay, that we through uh what is it patience, through faith we might have hope, through through faith we might have hope, what's that fifteen and four, uh that. Romans 15 and 4, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. That's okay? right. You, you about to say something? No, 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 I'm agreeing. I, I got the scripture. This is uh, Isaiah 1 and 9. Except the Lord of hosts, this is GMS Solomon Assembly. Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as, as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. Going right into that same thing. The faith in, we have faith. And hope that what? Through America being destroyed and being treated like Sodom and Gomorrah, that there's hope, that there's a way out of this thing, man. Yeah. And that's why our confidence lies, man. Which revolves, revolves around what we were taught in the scriptures. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's all about, it's all about delivery, deliverance, and salvation. All right? Okay. There's no, nothing else really matters. Yeah. Yep. Okay? Um, judges, you know, when the, the Lord set up judges as soon as, as soon as a judge was was put to death. Right. Uh, Jake just wanted to go do whatever they wanted to. Yeah. You now, now people got this mindset. Yeah. You can't judge me. Well, that's when the famine of the word is going to come in. Gone. The famine of the word is going to come in, and the people going to. That's when when we're not able to go out into the streets, we can just hang it up, man. And that's very soon to come. You know, you see, hey, look, the apostles and the elders, you know, uh. They relocated there in a different location, you know, and it's everything is spiritual to where, you know, we going into different stages where the men of the Lord are not going to be able to go out on the streets. Yeah. The scriptures talk about when wit hides itself, man. 
okay? Because right now we have the opportunity to indulge into these videos and get around brothers and, you know, break strongholds. You know, which through the spirit, we always want to be able to break those strongholds, okay? We always, through the spirit, you know, as long as the Lord is uh, with us, and, and uh, we keep the scriptures first, all right? We always going to be able to break strongholds, but the strongholds ain't going to be as, you know, it ain't going to be on, on it ain't going to be televised, I'll put it like that, man. You know, it, it just, it's not going to be the same, man, I'll just say that, man. You know, it's, it's going to be a different ball game, man. All right, it's gonna be. It's gonna. It, it, you ain't going. You gonna see who's who at the end of the day. Yeah. You gonna see who really able to break these strongholds. All right. When you out and about. All right, because anybody can put on for the camera. You know, I've been thinking about that video we did a while back about you know, uh, this truth is not all about doing your three videos essentially and just oh I did my three videos I'm good yeah and don't nah man it's bigger than that man this is this is a livelihood this is a lifestyle. <laughs> You know, just like you have in any fraternity, because the word fraternity just means a brotherhood. In any fraternity, you know, which I myself, I never was into a fraternity as far as anything outside of the truth or any way, shape, or form or fashion. However, I do know how they conduct, all right? And basically, they dedicate themselves unto their brotherhood, man. Everything revolves around the brotherhood. You see that in different shows, you know, when there were certain meetings and uh, 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 what was the Water Buffalo Lodge? How uh, Apostle Tall always talk? Um, Apostle Tall. You know, we talk about the Water Buffalo Lodge. Remember, you had, uh, what, wasn't that the Flintstones, right? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, the Flintstones, they was all a part of that. You know, you see that, hey, man, you see the fucking skull and bones, man. Hey, whenever when, when, when meetings occur, they don't be like, yo, I don't know. You know, I might have to do this, that, and the third. Or I might, nah, they, they, they showing up. Because their livelihood depends on that shit, man. Right. All right? That's how we got to conduct with this truth. Your livelihood has to be put. You have to put your, your 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 livelihood should be based around these based around this truth and these scriptures and this brotherhood. All right, not 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 the scriptures based around your livelihood. Oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. And you put that to the side. It don't work that way. All right, you put things to the side for the truth, for your true livelihood. Because th th this is the only thing that makes you lively anyway. That's the only way you're able to be a lively stone. You ain't a lively stone by yourself and you out and about and you doing your own thing. Um, Ecclesiastes 5 and 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly saw the wrath of the Lord come forth and in your security. Well, oh, let me say this. And in your stronghold. <laughs> right. Yep, yep, yep. In your security. Yep. Can you read that scripture again, Bubba Bashar? Ecclesiastes 5 and 7. Make no turn to turn to the Lord and put not off from, from day to day. For suddenly saw the wrath of the Lord come forth. The scripture said, time and chance happen to every man. All right? You got to, there's a chance. You always got a chance. You got to take a you got to take advantage of every chance possible. All right? You got it out. Trump. It says, um, For suddenly saw the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in your security shall you be destroyed. Whoa! In your security shall you be destroyed. That reminds me of Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, in the first verse. It says, While the days of pleasure draw nigh. All right? Meaning what? When you when you in your security, you in your pleasure. Seek you the Lord while you may be found. All right? Yeah. Let me just get it real quick. <clears throat> um, yeah, because uh, the, you have uh, <coughs> what people call escapes in this world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, um, you, what, what, are you, what are you trying to escape to? Right. You know? You're trying to escape to something that makes you feel a little, uh, little uh, uh, ple displeasing to you. You know what I'm saying? You might you might uh, be going through some problems and guess what um, you you uh, go go to some some uh, drink or something like that you know it's a lot, kid. my bad no you good no you good now I kind of uh, quote a quote the scripture on Salakia it says uh, Ecclesiastes twelve and one remember now that the Creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not how do you remember your Creator right now the scripture tell you what if a man you know 
How can a man love Yahweh Shah whom he can't see? Right? If he don't love the brother that's with in front of him. So that's how you remember the that created by really getting with the brotherhood, man. <laughs> right? It says, Remember thou now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I had no pleasure in them. That's when you was in your security, man. You was good. You was pillow talking. You was sitting cozy. All right? You was that fucking flower. <laughs> you know? Twirling and shit. You know? Yeah. Uh, a lot of these guys are going, you know, because um, of that woman, take that uh, chip, you know, their, their mother, mother, you know, being a little mama's boy. <laughs> Your mama might tell you to take that chip. Well, you got to get the fuck up out of the house, you know? It says, um, I'm going to repeat it. It says, and in your security, thou shalt be destroyed, you know, because you're trying to escape. Uh, if you're in this truth, and you know about the truth, and you're trying to escape the Lord, like um, Jonah. That's heavy. That's heavy. <laughs> That's heavy, y'all. That's heavy. I'm telling you. Because we live in it. We live in it. You may not get swallowed in the belly yeah, of the fish. Yeah, right, yeah. But you're going to go through hell. Because that's what Jonah called, being in the belly of the fish. Most high going to drag you through hell. But I'll say this, and I'm going to call it straight. We too late in the game for some fucking mistakes. Some mistakes yeah. should have been learned a long time ago. That's just how it is. You know? You can't. Some mistakes, you got to, you can't, you, you can't afford to make. Some, hey, man, mercy for some things is given is not given to others because of the time and the season. We're not in the time and season. It's like we're late in the game. You know, like, you know, when you watch like a Super Bowl or, you know, what you call a, uh, what is that, uh, any kind of championship game, you'd be late in the game. You're like, you know, certain mistakes people make. Yeah, yeah, about yeah. To travel. How are you going to travel in a championship when you're playing basketball? You can't travel, dog. That's yeah. the one. Like, what are you doing? Like, you can't do that right now. Not, not this game. Now, if this was the first game of the season, maybe. Right. Uh, okay, we can work on that later on. Right, right. But now, 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 now when it's now it's go time. Now when now, now when we here. God. <laughs> he said, uh, clutch, please. Yeah, clutch, please. Yeah, yeah, this, 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 we in the clutch. Yeah. We in the stretch. Championship rounds. God, God. When it when it matters. When it matters know. most. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo. Hey yo, hey yo, hey, the Lord is bad, man. <laughs> Both be on the same page, man. It says, uh, "And perish in the day of vengeance, because uh, the Lord is going to destroy anything that is not of of Him, man. You know, uh, when you when you when you uh, when you look at it, right? When you what you said earlier that you have to pretty much get yourself straight." Right? Before you before you uh you can go tell somebody else to get that shit straight. You know? Like let's say somebody might have uh you know got over on you, you know, whatever they did in the past, you gotta learn to let let the Lord oh Esau, man. You know? Let's use Esau for example. You know? We know that these Edomites are going into slavery. Now are we going are we gonna put them in slavery right now while they still in power? No. You got to wait on for y'all by some y'all shop. You know? Let's say your woman might have committed adultery or somebody might have been coming after your life. You got to you gotta sit back and let the Lord do his, his, his thing, man. You know? Let right. the Lord uh, uh, have his vengeance because it's the Lord. It's the Lord uh, so at the end of the day. Yep. We just we just pawns, you know? We can't we can't do whatever we want, you know. Like I said, with the, the chess chessboard, you know what I'm saying? You can't just move wherever you want to with the what if you're a pawn, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can't just do that. You go you messing up the defense. And 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 then in the game of chess, of when you're setting up the pawns, the pawns is, is you know trying to get them key positions on the field, man. You know. Huh. Yeah, you got you got anything else? We close God, up. That was that was pretty much it. Yeah, kind, kind, you know? but yeah, yeah, man, play play your part, man. Stick with the scriptures. Do everything in decency order. Pray the hour, watch me out, shy, fast, pray. Do whatever you need to do, man. You know, because we we out here trying to win strongholds, man. 
You know, and with that, you know, give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakhagwadash, you know, double iron style apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, you know, Shalom to the elect of them, man. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.